Hey friends, Mortgage Mark, happy Thursday. It's midway through July already, which is absolutely nuts. Uh, that July 4th holiday just makes it feel like July is almost over when it hadn't even started. Um, let's talk about, we got a lot to talk about and unpack this week, so I'm going to share this with you because some big news has obviously been happening. Um, so, you know, rates, because that's how we started off, some of the mortgage guy, and that's what you expect, right? Rates, rates came up about 0.2, uh, give or take, per Freddie Mac. So this morning it shows 5.5, that is with 0.8 points. Um, so the chart of that just shows you that we've had a good run for a couple weeks, but you can see here the last week, week and a half or so, rates have come down. So why is that? Well, guys, it's, it's fairly simple, right? Inflation, like we've been saying all along, inflation is really bad. If you're going to invest money for 30 years and get a 5.5% return in inflation, which is now as of this week running at 9.1, that makes for like you're losing money. Right. If I only get 5% and my money is going to cost me nine when I get it because of inflation, that's bad. So that's why the Fed is going to raise rates. And in fact, so much so that this inflation reading coming out so hot um, that instead of raising 0.75, there's not there's now pretty good likelihood the Fed is going to raise a full point in two weeks when they meet. Um, so when they meet at the end of July, we think it's going to be a full point increase. And they're doing that, guys, to curb inflation. How? Why? It's demand. They're trying to raise rates so much and just squash the growth, the economy, the demand for goods. They're trying to create a soft landing. That's the air quotes here, a soft landing. Uh, but truthfully, by putting us into a recession, the hopes and dreams are we as consumers will consume less. We may not go out and buy that one thing if it's a little more expensive because of you know, maybe the cost for financing or maybe, and, and I hate to say it, but if somebody starts losing their job and jobs become worrisome, uh, maybe employers stop hiring, and then therefore you don't get this like really good feeling consumer that's willing to go out and spend all kind of money. People are going to save, so that's what they're going for when they do this. And and why? How does housing tie into this? So believe it or not, guys, um, the housing market is still crazy good. You know that as well as I do. People are like, oh, it's getting soft, it's cooling off. Maybe I mean obviously it's not as hot as it once was, but guys, over 50 percent, 52 percent of the homes that have been sold in in June and July. Have, have had multiple offers and they sold above ask price. Uh, homes are only on the market for like two to three weeks, 18 days here is what it says. 47%, so call it half. Half the homes are offered, uh, offers are accepted within that first two weeks. Um, so long story short, guys, you know, it's really crazy. Um, you know, it's still a really crazy market. The other part, guys, is housing. Well, housing is technically not part of uh, the inflation numbers, they do have it represented in two ways. One is rent, right? They measure rent, which if you're a renter, you know rates have gone up 25 to 30% year over year. And the other was what's called the owner's equivalent rent. Like what would I rent my house out for right now if I were to do this? Why is that important? In the CPI and the PCE, those are the two measures of inflation. Those are just, you know, this is what the Fed looks at. It's two fifths, which is 40% of inflation and that CPI number is housing, which is crazy. And so um, as, as things, you know, rents rise, you know, things get more expensive. Here's what I thought was pretty interesting. Um, the, this, this one company, American Homes for Rent, they own 58,000 homes, which is crazy. And just in May, and this is after the rates of increase, right? The, with, with interest rates and all that going up, just in May, they had a record number of people trying to rent homes. So, there is a shortage of housing. Their rents are expensive. It's still a great time to buy. Um, that's what this basically is saying is that basically um, during the 2000, mid 2000s, around one quarter, 25% of rents, renters were moving out uh, to buy homes. Today, it's, it's only about one in six. So we have less renters at this moment trying to move out and we're still having this crazy um, you know, shortage for both rents and own. So, Long story short, they think we're about a you know, year and a half to two years slow on the supply before houses get built. So hopefully we're going to have another good 12, 24 months. If rates go back down to fours, maybe in 12 months, I think, again, you'll just see those buyers that are sitting out will come right back in and probably do so with a vengeance. So it's still a really good market. Uh, along those lines, guys, come join us um, in two weeks. Uh, and you guys can sign in here. It's a round table. The seating is limited because we just don't have a big of a room, but we're going to have a um, a conversation about, you know, our chasing excellence, it's going to be about converting, right? So if business, if, if business is a little slower, the number of leads coming in the door, maybe a few less, we were off by about 20, 30% in June for normal leads. So 
with that, it means converting is so much more important today, right? You can either produce more leads or convert better or do both. You know, crush business, but that's basically how you do more business, get more leads or convert better. So we're, my group, we're going to come a couple ideas of what we've implemented the last 60 to 90 days where things have actually like worked. We got deals in the pipeline that are working from these things, but we're getting a handful of the professionals. I've already got commitment from about six of you uh, that are coming in and we're going to spend 20, 30 minutes kind of showing you what we've done, what we're doing. And really it's a book review. We read two or three books, uh, how to never lose customer again. And we'd like you guys to join us. We'd like your thoughts. And it's going to be the second half is round table, open discussion, you know, picking our brains is or masterminding of uh, picking each other's brains of what are you doing and, and how is this market different uh, than what it's been for the last two years. So we'd love to see you come join us. As always, guys, we thank you for watching and hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.